Alright guys, Piff here. Welcome back. Today, I'll be making a final upgrade to my Omen laptop. Let's talk about the Crucial MX500 4TB SATA 3 drive. This video has long been overdue. After almost 4 years, I finally decided it's time. But before we proceed, let me have this moment to thank you for viewing this video. If you're an old subscriber, you know I have a very limited time now for YouTube. But even though I have so many of my life side quests and my main job as a teacher back, I still enjoy replying to your questions and interacting with you. I miss you guys. So you can like and share to show your support. Subscribe if you still haven't yet. You can also hit the super thanks if you're feeling that generous and you can also check out the timeline chapters to skip to the info that you need don't forget to comment down your questions in the comment section down below or click the cards above for more guides and tutorials with that done let's check out my new ssd the mx500 4 terabyte sata 3 drive let's do this I got my new Crucial SSD for 17,579 pesos or around 331 US dollars. It was originally 18,499 pesos plus 80 peso shipping but I got an amazing 1000 peso discount for this deal. The package was very lightweight. I felt like I was scammed. Let's hope not. Ooh, it was heavily padded on the outside. Inside the thick black bubble wrap is a carton cutout made into a box. That's nice. Inside the box is yet another black bubble wrap. I hope it ends here. My anxiety is building up. I felt a great sign of relief when I saw the SSD box. Thank goodness. They included a warranty certificate. Wow, I forgot to ask the seller about this. This is very important when claiming the 5 year warranty. Good job. The MX500 that I have is the 4TB model. Crucial also sells the newer budget BX500 SSD series, which has a lower speed, endurance, and warranty term. My model was first made available to the public on September of 2021. It uses the Micron 3D NAND technology which enables it to have a higher capacity, faster speed, high endurance, and most importantly, much cheaper. The MX line of SSDs comes in M.2 and 2.5 inch SATA 3 variety. Crucial gives extra freebies via their website. I don't think I'll be needing those, unfortunately. Inside, we have the manual, the 9.5mm adapter, Finally, the MX500 SSD. Wow, assembled in Mexico. That's a breath of fresh air from all the China gadgets that I have. The pins look good. No dance whatsoever. Physically, it looks good. Because all my funds went to the SSD, not to mention my other side quests, I will settle with this old Seagate mobile drive as housing for cloning. Uh, I hope it works.
It did. I don't need to initialize it since I am cloning it. Now I have 3726.02 GB of unallocated, uninitialized space. For our software, I'll be using the free home edition of Macrium Reflect. Link in the description. First, we need to select the drive we wish to clone. Here, the HGST drive with two partitions, the data and recovery drives. Click Clone this disk. We have our source disk. Next is to select the disk to clone to. It was detected as a 3.64 Seagate drive since I'm using the Seagate housing. I wanted to retain the two partitions and I also wanted to expand the D data drive to get the full remaining size. To do this, uncheck the selector drive and drag the first partition to the destination drive. Next is to click clone partition properties. Adjust the free space to the space of the remaining partition. Here the recovery drive. It's 13.63 gigabytes. Now, we're ready to drag the remaining drive to the destination. Click Next. Then Next, carefully recheck the summary because you don't want to screw this by selecting the wrong drive. Click Finish. Then click OK to save. Then wait. This will take time. I'll up the speed a bit. The first partition is now done. I got these corrupted files from my old drive. No use of them now. The smaller partition is now also done. All completed in just 6 hours and 18 minutes. Time to replace my HDD with an SSD. First, remove all 8 screws securing the bottom cover. Use a plastic spudger and pry it open starting from the back part. Remove the battery. Better be safe than sorry. I'll be using a tweezer and a metal spudger for this. First, clear out the wire obstructing the flex cable. Remove the flex cable from the socket. Be very careful with this, especially on older machines. They can be brittle and can break so easily.
pry the top part of the drive. Then pull it up. This Hitachi drive has served me for almost 4 years. Time to rest. Or maybe I'll give it to Alex. The side brackets has no screws. Just pull it off to remove it. It feels like rubberized which I think serves as a shock absorber for the drive. The other one? Then the SATA connector. Comparing the two drives, my new SSD is much thinner than the old one since it's only 7mm thick. I'll be using the 9.5mm adapter with this build. Let's put everything back together. Again, extra careful with the flex cable. My battery is kind of bulging already. Maybe I'll replace it soon. If it happens, it will be my third time. Never forget to test it first before screwing the cover. For me, I'll leave it to that for I'll be repasting this month. Check the card above for the guide. Let's check if the drive is detected by pressing F2 or startup check. Select system information, storage. Yeah, it's there. Hmm, no error on Windows boot. Yeah, yeah, I'm not an early Windows 11 adopter, so bear with me. It already shows on this PC. Also on disk management. Great. Now for the benchmarks. I will be using Crystal this month. Compared to my old HDD, it's definitely a superb upgrade.
So the good part, what can I say? 4 terabyte space, Micron 3D NAND, SATA 3 speed, high endurance with 5 years of warranty, my simple life is more than complete. Now for the bad part. The only thing bad about this whole purchase is that this is the most expensive upgrade I have for my Omen. If it's not for my mid-year bonus and my sister's help, then chew my yaks and gladdies. My poor soul would have to save for another year for this. Even though my first choice was the Samsung Evo series, the price was too much for me and its 4TB version during that time I looked for an SSD was very rare. Other known brands like Western Digital, Seagate, Kingston, SanDisk, etc. etc. have the same problem. No 4 terabytes available or it's very expensive. The Crucial BX500 series was also one of my options but because I couldn't find any 4 terabyte model and the specs are lower than the MX series, especially the lesser 3 year warranty it has, only solidified my decision for this purchase. Finally did it. My last upgrade. And that's my take on the Crucial MX500 4 terabyte SATA 3 drive. Like, share, and subscribe for more. And see you in the next one. Keep safe. Ciao, best.